We are an endangered species, you and me. We, fans of speed. We, devotees of power. We, lovers of performance and beauty and mechanical soul. There are a few places that welcome us now. We dare not speak of cams or cranks or double wishbones. We fear for our love of roaring V8s and the smell of burnt rubber. So today's a very special day. We're talking about driving and racing, and I brought the best man, our best man at Spill.com on the loading bar to talk about racing, Mr. Jason Murphy. That's right. I'm a driver. I'm a winner. Mm-hmm. Things are going to change. I can feel it. <laughs> and another person who has been in a car, Nick Hodges. <laughs> Thank you very much. Usually in the back seat, but yeah, that counts. Or the trunk. <laughs> or the trunk. If Jason's driving, yeah, in the trunk. Right. Get the fucking trunk, Nick. <laughs> That's how we do it in Texas. Could you put some uh, air holes in it, please, Jason? You know, I can't breathe back here. <laughs> and then the bullet comes through. Do you want more? <laughs> oh, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Such a sissy. So let's see. Forza, um, I've always thought that Forza, I don't, I don't know how to say it. How do you guys say it? Boring. Forza. That's how you Forza. pronounce it. Boring? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Take us away, Mr. Murphy. What? Tell us all about Forza 4. Forza 4 is a racing simulator. Not really a racing game, so if you're looking for Need for Speed or Burnout or Mario Kart even, this is the anti-Mario Kart. This is uh, a game where you race around a lot of imaginary and real-world tracks with super realistic, in some ways, uh, or wait, 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 most ways. wait. wait. Wait, hold on. I'm getting a psychic premonition. Is the Nuremberg ring in this this game? There's uh, some German stuff that I couldn't pronounce, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's Hockenheimen ring. <laughs> okay. I don't remember Nuremberg specifically because it you know it takes you all over the world. Not like Daytona or Cruisin, <laughs> which were fun. <laughs> this is the car fetishist video game. I imagine if you're into cars like really into cars, if you're that guy, then you'll love this game. Because you race, and you get points, and you get discounts, you buy stuff in the store, you can upgrade your pads and your tires and stuff like that, collecting cars, uh, customizing them just to every little detail. Uh, and then there's you know features where you can zoom in and like literally look at the brake pads on the car, like you're, like you're really <laughs> getting frisky and up close and personal with this car. It, it is car porn. It is car porn. <laughs> so you're saying that these cars, they've, you know, they're they're just turned 18. They've got no shame. They'll do whatever. Mm, so- cars gone wild. Let me raise <laughs> the hood and get up in there and finger your gaskets. Yeah, can you get like hot chicks like uh, washing the car as well? You know, would that be? Uh, would that- I wish. <laughs> Instead, we have the Top Gear gentlemen. The guys so from got- Top Gear are Jeremy Clarkson's involved. in this. What's Jer- that? Jeremy Clarkson's in this vi- uh, in this game. I don't know his name. There are a bunch of dudes from Top Gear. Um, uh, the British Top Gear. I think isn't there an American Top Gear as well? Oh no, it's that the doesn't British count. One. It's it's oh. definitely the BBC one. Yeah, Jeremy oh, wow. Clarkson. Yeah. Children who spend too much time on their Xboxes often write to us at Top Gear and ask why we have yet to test this, the M12 FAV Warthog. Frankly, if you ask questions like that, you're not going to understand the explanation as to why we can't, so you'll just have to test it yourself here. And he's he narrates it and everything, you have little challenges like driving around te- uh, their their actual test track. Dunsfold. Dunsfold is what it is. Well, that's, a, yeah. that's quite cool, that. Yeah, Top yeah I mean, really, if you're a fan of the show, sure. They're really pimping it out. They were in, uh, they had all that in Gran Turismo as well. The last Gran Turismo update had all that Top Gear stuff built into it. Um... So, okay, basically, I don't think anybody here is, is going to have any questions, but just to get it out of the way, you basically, this is standard racing game style. You race one track, you get a gold medal, it opens up two new tracks. I mean, the tracks have specific car requirements or specific, like, weight class or, um, you know, and Gran Turismo, they have ones that are, like, Japanese cars only or front-wheel drive cars only or things like that. Is all is that same sort of thing for oh, yeah. Forza? Yeah, it, it's really strangely robust like uh, it it really fetishizes cars there is so much you can do in this or you can really just uh just race you know you can just race and drive around the track without guns no missiles (laughs) what um no jumping i never caught air 
I never had any crazy wrecks. Uh, Sweet Tooth never showed up in his crazy ice cream truck. And tell me there were at least blue sparks. No blue sparks. No blue sparks. God damn it. No blue sparks. No turtle shells. <laughs> it sounds like that the actual meat and potatoes of, of Forza is pretty pretty similar to what's going on in Forza 3. There, I think there's some slight differences to the customization of your cars online and, and some of the online stuff. But uh, as I understand it, one of the biggest things in this new Forza game is uh, Connect support. Yeah. It's like everything else with the Connect. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I tried it. And uh, it was, uh, you know, driving. So I'm standing there like a lunatic in front of my TV, holding my hands up like I'm driving. And um, <laughs> your arms get really tired. <laughs> well, they have that, like, what? They have the uh, endurance competitions, like NASCAR or anything, where you do it like 70 laps with your arms <laughs> right. out in your living room. But the difference is you don't have anything to rest your arms on. It's an mm. imaginary wheel. Like you're flying so- Wonder Woman's jet. So wait a minute. Is this the is this the is this the control where you hold your arms out and steer, but the game does all of the braking and gas for you, like you're in some horrible runaway car with no no pedals? Uh, basically, yeah. And it, and even when you've got the actual regular controller, it'll slow you down. There's like this little training wheel stripe along the track that mm-hmm. will slow you down when you get to to turns and i'm sure there's a way to turn that off but i didn't look for it honestly but yeah it's it's basically like uh you're gonna fuck this up here we'll take this we'll we'll take this it bored my dick off that's what i'm trying to say it <laughs> bored my dick off it you just now fell a, the a, fuck a, off <laughs> well i know that okay in forza what was it two or three they also had a rewind function is that still in here yes or if you mess up a turn you can just be like well no screw it Try it again. Yeah, that that was very helpful, but it kind of took all the fun out of it, you know? I mm-hmm. mean, you can sit there and hold down, like on the Xbox, you hold down Y, and it'll back it up to a certain point, and it'll say, okay, here you go, or do you want to back it up more? You can back it up even more, just do it all in reverse, you know? Mm-hmm. Hey, that's um, cheating that, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so I found myself doing this one tricky turn over and over and over but that's the whole fun about races, right? Is the the randomness, the the chance of getting into a wreck and some sort of pile up when you're going around a corner. This just does away with all of that. Is there? I mean, is there vehicle collision, vehicle damage? There is vehicle damage. Um, I I never had any just colossal wrecks. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe because I drive like a pussy. I don't know. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there's there's vehicle damage and everything, and it and it definitely does you know take its toll. And but uh, it's nothing catastrophic. I'm just spoiled by burnout, where you go <laughs> flying you... off the roof of a parking garage into a a crowded intersection and mayhem. <laughs> you, you, know? you you lightly tap the guy in front of you's rear fender, and his entire car flies apart to twenty thousand pieces in a giant Michael Bay explosion. Yeah, and then DJ Jackass says, "Oh, I can't believe that one," and then starts <laughs> playing some alt metal song no instead we've got you know jeremy clarkson on a couple of tracks you know telling us make sure you run over all of the bowling pins okay me off after a while okay what about the soundtrack is there a good soundtrack in this uh it, it is your typical pumping techno house music and i know i'm probably going to insult some neon wearing techno nerd yeah it's your typical <laughs> making it feel way more exciting than it really is oh, I get, well you're so you're not a techno fan then no was, no oh, not oh, at all <laughs> uh, but wh- one thing that got me is like the first race you start off in a ferrari mm. it's like oh cool okay ferrari and then when you pick like okay i'm gonna do the world tour thing and okay that was the the intro to the whole game i'm gonna do the the world tour thing and Here's your Ford Fiesta <laughs> or, or something like that. It's just this little tiny turd of a car. But can you pimp it out? Can you add like stage five turbo and like rocket engines onto the back of it? to make No, it go? you can quote unquote pimp it out, but it's all within the restraints of reality. And that's the thing. I'd be going around a corner and I would find myself trying to use boost. There's no boost. <laughs> that button that I was hitting doesn't do anything. So you weren't drifting for like 250 feet around every curve, no Ridge Racer style. No, not at all. It was, I mean, again, 
if you're a car fan and a car sim fan, this is probably God's gift to, to you. Yeah, for me, all I could do to get through this game was while I was playing it, I would have to imagine that I was racing to the store to buy Batman Arkham City. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, the, the one thing that I'm really curious about that I've, I've heard about, and I don't, my apartment isn't big enough to handle Connect, but you have one in this game, is apparently they have the one feature where you can, you can virtually walk around cars using your Connect and, and point at stuff and open doors or something. And, and I want to know what that's like because it sounds, I mean, I just get this image of, you know, the player standing in the middle of their living room walking in place like a, like a dork and then pointing at stuff in midair and having the car go, woo. You know. Yeah, I didn't do that. Why, why would I do that? <laughs> that's, that's dumb. Why would I do that when I can sit there with the controller and rotate the mm. car instead of having to walk to the other side? I'm not doing okay. that. Well, um, it sounds like you kind of universally didn't didn't have any fun with this at all. No, I really okay. didn't. I really, really <laughs> didn't. I even tried to get drunk while I was playing it. <laughs> didn't help. Well, so now I'm help, drunk so... and bored. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, uh, I have to say... And, and, you know, I'm going to try to be kind of fair because it's really good for what mm -hmm. it is. But what it is is something I just really don't fucking like. Uh, and that is, it is the, probably the most amazingly detailed, prettiest car racing simulator ever okay. in the history of boring shit games. <laughs> um, so if you're into that, you will love this and give it a full price. Me, I'll give it. A rental. I'm going to compromise <laughs> because honestly, if I was doing it for my own predilections and opinions, I would say fuck you to Forza. <laughs> fuck you, Forza. That's what I would say. Uh, but I realize that it is really good at what it does. Unfortunately, what it does, in my opinion, it's like, why don't I just go play with the latest version of TurboTax? That's about <laughs> as exciting. So you're saying that you'd, you'd rather play EVE Online than Forza? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, f for the car enthusiast, like, what's the variety of cars you can get? Like, Got hundreds, uh, hundreds of cars. Licensed cars, or like real, real cars. Or... Uh, you know, I think all of them are real cars. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know a lot about cars, but uh, yeah, there were a lot of actual, you know, Ford and Nissan and Mazda and just on and on like that. There's all sorts of stuff you can choose from. Literally hundreds of cars. Wow. What okay so uh mainly European cars. I'm guessing it's like a European game or is it like a, a good mixture? No, it's 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 a good mixture. Uh you know, they've they've got all sorts of stuff. Like I said, you know, you've got the Ford and stuff like that. Uh you can get the Ford Fiat, which I know is a popular like racing car. And then there's Plymouths and Chevys and BMWs uh, and I know like in the collector's edition you can get like a, a Bugatti and stuff like that. Uh, there's a, an American car uh, muscle pack that you can nice. get. Yeah, if you know if you're into cars, okay. What's the most exotic car <laughs> you've seen? Like you don't get any like cars that have jet engines in them or something. No, no, nothing like that. I I didn't see. I mean, if if there is, but I didn't unlock it or anything like that. There is like, and I think it's on like a like a pre-order exclusive for someone. You can get like a like a Tesla. <laughs> You could get the Richard Hammond version. <laughs> yeah, well, you can get a Tesla Roadster, you know, which is kind of cool. Just pointing uh, out any Brit Brits who got that Richard Hammond joke. Uh, right I don't even know who that road. is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit mean of me why I just said so. <laughs> but yeah, girl, yeah, there's, yeah, there's a lot of different types of cars you can get. But when it comes down to it, you're still just driving around some weird shape or a circle. Or a vaguely circle-like shape, it, it, and and then you're doing it again, and then you're doing it another time until it tells you you can stop. Okay. <laughs> I think all right. I'll stick to Need for Speed then. I'm going to make a note here, Jason, to review all racing games from now on. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me make my own note. Uh, go to Jeff's house and stab him in the eyes. <laughs> The only racing games that I want you to put in front of me from now on, give this to somebody who can appreciate it. I obviously did not. But Mario Kart 7, it's around the corner. I'm all over that. <laughs> like Bowser on Princess Peach. I'm all over it. In an age of hybrid this and lentilmatic that, we are the odd ones out. Yet there is hope. There is a haven. <laughs> A place that celebrates speed, grip, gears, and fun. And it's all here 
for you to explore.